call the meeting of the Northampton Council on Aging to order. It's Thursday, July 14th, 3.30 p.m. The first, or I don't think, I don't see anyone from the public either here or on the screen. So, so where would, where would say, where is the, where's the girl? Where I mean, is just, on? I just want to hear. Is this you part on? Yeah. Sure. So this, this, this if their face which would... Uh-huh. Oh, it's our friend from the Gazette. Yes. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I, you know, I, know. Uh, I, I knew it would see you. Yeah. You can <laughs> take this chair. You can sit at the table with us if you want to. Because we're, there's a small group of us today. That's right. In fact, I've also seen... So the first um, item on our agenda is the um, discussion Hello. of the, there she is, the Hello. minutes from, we're looking at, now why don't you sit here, because we're, we're using okay. the minutes from our May 12th, that's how long we, so we didn't have a meeting in June. So we'll take a chance to look at them and see if there was anything, any additions, changes, et cetera. stepped away from her vacation and time oh, between wow. two jobs to join us today. And what I thought it would be helpful, and this was a question that I had not benefited hearing the answer to um, during the interview process, which was, in this case, you've got the job, <laughs> as opposed to the hypothetical. What would your first 30, 60 days look like? How, how would you, how do you, what's your vision to sort of how you want to get to know us and everyone being around here? I, I think right out of the gate. Listening is such an important part of, of this place and time right now. Uh, listening to staff members that are here, listening to you as the council on aging, listening to uh, the older adults that are coming to the senior center, listening to them to hear what their experience has been, what is working well, and, and maybe where do we need to expand services. And, and I think that is, is critical to do a lot of listening. Um, it, we're stepping in here at a very interesting time, <laughs> and, and we're reopening in a lot of ways, and so listening is going to be critical. Um, also, I think what's going to be critical is supporting the marvelous staff that's already in place. Um, they have been doing an amazing job. Um, I've had an opportunity to meet them very briefly, and I can tell they're all very dedicated, <laughs> and have been working very hard um, to make sure that everything that happens here at the Senior Center is quality and moving forward and so thank you for that and I think supporting, supporting the team is also going to be critical in these first days. Uh, I know that uh, not only in addition to their own responsibilities but they have also been shouldering extra responsibilities because there has not been a director or assistant director in place. So stepping in and getting busy and getting to know the team uh, and supporting them is also going to be important right out of the gate. Um, and I think that we really need to work together as a team. One word that I used a lot in the interview process was collaboration. And I think that's critical to collaborate with you as the Council on Aging, to collaborate with the team in place, and look at how we can build on those who are already attending, but also get more people coming back to the senior center as well. And really creating an environment that's warm and friendly with a lot of engaging and compelling programs. And again, there's a lot of that already happening, but let's build on that. So I think listening right out of the gate, being respectful of everyone that's here and creating a warm and friendly environment, I think are our kind of top focus for the first 30 or 69 years. Thanks. 
You open to some questions? Sure. Gene, what do you want to, anything you want to ask him? Um, well, one of the things I was thinking about was that Bruce King, I mean, reading these minutes, that Bruce came in and, um, and, and asked some, like, I think reasonable questions, and I just, um, some of what, I guess what we need to do is to make sure that we have Speak a little bit louder because the microphone's right um, there. Just okay, so here. I guess that I think that what we need to do is have like some follow through on things like that. Um, you know, uh, we couldn't really, it isn't on the agenda this time, but that's because we, like, you know, we could, because we've been in such a, um, with a lack of director. So, um, but I, um, there's, you know, and I think that on the other, I talked a little bit with Cindy, I think that, you know, doing some things that cause, uh, get people to feel like the Browns we were talking about, but in general, just the idea of having um, a sense of ownership um, would be a, you know, but those aren't questions, those are just... Well, there's just any questions, we know what thoughts. Yeah. Are there any other thoughts? I mean, no, I'm really excited. I mean, I, I remember working with you um, during the time, the brief time that we overlapped, and uh, so I'm really excited. Well, thank you. Thank you. I'm excited to also the word ownership. I think is also very important. It's not, you know, it's not the staff senior center. It's not. I mean, it's, it's older adults. It's their senior center. So to, to instill a sense of ownership and pride in that, I think is important. Michael. One of the things that I <coughs> heard from a friend, singer, was that he likes the idea of the senior center, but it seems quite formal and not quite welcome. Are there things that you could imagine that you could think about putting in place that would make it seem more welcoming, less formal? And it wasn't describing any bad interactions, just the sort of uh, formality of the place. You use the term, you know, which is a little more funky. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, here's a challenge. <laughs> I don't, I like funk. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at Lauren Nancy just now. Like, I didn't know if I need those tattoos, so I was like, I just got my first tattoo, so I feel funky. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I guess I, I thought, makes me curious is, we all, where did it? <laughs> I don't have a tattoo, but I, I don't know if the definition, you know, we all have different definitions yeah. of formal, because I, yeah, I guess that's, I don't think of this place as being formal, but that's just me. I, I actually, yeah. I can see what he was getting at. I know it better than he does. But if you walk in, very neat looking, it's all very well presented, uh -huh. um, and it's a little less homey maybe than some places. And I, you know, I guess we all have our preferences. But, um, mm -hmm. So I just wonder if there are things that we can think about that make it a little bit more homey. Sure. Sure, I think we can definitely take a look. I mean, certainly the layout of furniture is one thing that we can take a look at. Um, I also think it's it's about personalities. It's about laughing. I mean, it's about all of us sort of just sure. having that moment talking about funky. And I think there, I, I mean, there's a, there's a degree of it, I've not been here. I've been here. This is my second time here now since I've been here as the assistant director. And both times when I walked in, um, it was it was quiet. Now it was quiet because there's not a lot of people around. Yeah. <laughs> But it doesn't have to be quiet all the time either. And so I think the warm and friendly there also can be sort of this underlying energy and connectedness sure. that contributes to a warm and friendly environment. And sure. I think obviously more people in a room that kind of goes up on its own as opposed to two or three. But I think laughter is important and I think that that will contribute. Um, I don't know if that's been missing, but like I said, it might just be there's been a small <laughs> number. I, I, there's not been a lot of people here when I've been here, and I, I can tell already from knowing Nancy and Laura, they like to have fun. So I think that, <laughs> I think that can I you guys hear me? Yeah. yeah. Bob, there you are. Hi, Hi Bob. Hi, yeah, I'm sitting at my cottage where I'm. Uh, you can probably see the bones that go by and behind me. But one of the reasons, you, one of the reasons why it's been so quiet is because Marie gave the impression that you really can't speak or disturb anybody while you're in the lobby. That's the impression that almost everybody I've talked to has received 
that it's worse than being in a library where you just can't whisper, you don't want to interfere with it. And that, you know, when I work in a coffee shop, and a lot of times what it, I see is people almost tiptoe through the lobby to go to the different things, but there's no interaction. Uh, people don't stop and talk and, uh, you know, there's no camaraderie at, at, at all. Any, when anybody sees anybody, they wait and that's it. So it, it's just that atmosphere where it's either dead quiet because there's nobody there or there's people walking through and it's still dead quiet. But it was almost like they, did, they didn't want to just, you know, Murray gave the impression that uh, you didn't want to disturb anybody that was at the desk or anything or around because they had a job to do. So that's my two cents. And Bob, I'm going to, this so yeah, I think you can see, but since you're not in the room, I wanted to remind you that we do, we do have a reporter with us at the meeting. Okay. <laughs> So I have only had experience for a couple of months, I think. Um, but um, one thing I've noticed was, like, I guess I further question that, like, how do you like to communicate with us? Um, so, you know, we are, uh, not to make any comparisons, but previously we were receiving our director's report, and, um, you know, so I just wondered, is, is, how would you like us to communicate with you? What's the best thing for you? <laughs> um, I, I think certainly face to face I appreciate that opportunity. I know that's not always um, always possible. So email, I think uh, phone calls, uh, anytime. Uh, yeah. Obviously there'll be formal reports that I do need to give and we'll communicate in that way. But I really encourage the communication and again out of the game we're gonna do a lot of listening and asking a lot of questions and I think that, that um, the more communication the better. Unfortunately, because the numbers are fairly low, we've got to know people. So, you know, if they're not going to be there, they stop and tell us that they're going away for weeks, so we won't worry about them. Um, so I think things are much, much better. But it is quiet. I've walked in here in the afternoon, and it's pretty quiet. Yeah, and again, the times that I was here, I think it literally just had to do with the number of people in the building. And certainly in meeting the team, we had lots of laughs, and it wasn't exactly quiet. <laughs> been without a leader, so to speak. We've been trying to lead ourselves, too. Um, but we've also been short-staffed. And I also think um, we've been in a, in a weird position of trying to bring in more activities, but we, we haven't been able to bring too much more in because we don't have enough staff to bring too much. So we've been trying to do what we can with the staff that we have. So we've been in a weird position of not being able to bring in too many more people into the building, but sort of, but but I think a good example is, you know, we took the plunge to open on Fridays for lunch, and that's been so far so good. Um, and we, I mean, the things that we have been sort of pushing to get back have been going forward. We've got some new groups coming in, and so um, I, I think we're making strides forward, I really do. 
I, I think it's little strides, but I think it's it's good strides. So while it does seem quiet sometimes, I think I think we're getting there in little baby steps, uh, which is good. And it's definitely seeing some new faces, which is exciting. Um, and I don't think it's unlike other senior centers either. And let's face it, I mean, I think you know uh, this virus is certainly you know not hasn't got anywhere and causing people to be um, anxiety filled, but. Um, so yeah, so I think, you know, with you being here and hopefully we can get some, another, at least one more staff assistant to help us kind of move forward in that vision will be helpful. Um, and we just ordered some new furniture, so maybe we can be a little more cozy and funky with our furniture placement and uh, <laughs> that'll be good. Uh, so I hear you on that. But, uh, and, and, and Laura and Cassie in the front desk are really friendly. They really are, and they do know people and what their comings and goings are. So we are really lucky about that. They know, they know people and stuff. So that's and great. I will also say, having both of them, right? I mean, just a small difference from when I was here is that desk. Yeah. I mean, that desk was that high yeah. all the way around. So yeah. Two more cut out areas. So right there already is a solid example of, of already being more yeah. changing yeah. the environment a little bit. It's yeah. yeah, I mean, I have to say that Marie did, Marie did a really good job of like kind of getting the physical um, part, the part of you know the great room looking really pretty stiffy. I think what we need is a beaded curtain to go into the uh, cafe. There you go. <laughs> yes. Bring it back. I think that that, that word that funky has, has now stuck. So it's going to sort of the question to friend group so they can help fundraise for a beaded. It sounds like there's, I mean, it almost like the summers are typically sort of low, anyhow. Yeah, well, and I think it's, and I'll just listen to everyone saying, it's not a bad thing to be slow when you're starting, mm -hmm. to be able to do all of what you want to do and listen, and for you guys to be able to say, if we only had assistant director, blah, 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 this, these are all the things we could do to really be able to plan for it. Because it's not, it's, you're not going to find staff people overnight. We right. all know that. So I think it's, mm -hmm. I think it's a great opportunity to figure out moving forward. Yeah. And you know, the fall's going to be here yeah. sooner than later. Yeah. We want to hear, you know, kind of where Kim's at and what her vision is, and talk about our thoughts and stuff. Mm -hmm. So it's all good. Yeah. I think it's, I think it's a great opportunity to do it when there's sort of a sure. built-in low. Mm -hmm. Anyhow. Well, and I would also be interested in hearing a little bit more, about, maybe not in the context of this meeting, but talking a little bit more in depth too about some of the remote things that we've done mm -hmm. and who we've reached through that. Yeah. That we may just continue to yeah, reach absolutely. in that way. And there, so I, I don't want to overlook the, the people that are engaged in that way as well. Right. Hopefully we have people return to the building, but I also think the reality is, is there's people that can't get to the building and you're reaching them in different ways. Mm -hmm. And so I think really looking critically at that. Um, you know, we, we may initially see a much lower number in the building, but it doesn't mean that they're not people that we're reaching. So mm -hmm. we're kind of looking at that too. I think it's a good point. It just, it's not just who physically shows up. Mm -hmm. It's all of the other stuff. I mean, the online offerings yeah. mm -hmm. are amazing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you're right. They've, they brought in a whole crew of people who would never participate for a variety of reasons, including physical inability to mm -hmm. get down here. Mm -hmm. um, and, and I oh, shout out, shout out to to the team for <laughs> redoing and rebooking and yeah. taking a step back and recreating. Good mm opportunities. -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I hate to say it, but I have to return to my vacation. <laughs> hey, they're uh, telling us. Wow. Thanks, thanks so much for joining us. Uh, <laughs> See you guys vacation, later. Vacation yeah. well. Yeah. What a hard life. I know. <laughs> Go to the background. Okay. And yeah, it's it is hard. Um, I think we also and then is that it's a priority, but we clearly are down in numbers on this COA as well. Mm -hmm. And I think, you know, from my perspective, in this whole transition, there's no, there's no point in, in encouraging people. So I think at some point, as part of the whole plan, what, what is yeah. a, a good time to, when we're down like on our numbers as well, our role 
You know, what what do we want it to be? What what we have we liked? What the same things you're saying? You know, what's worked? What's not worked? And and it, having done that exercise may make it. You know, here are the kind of people we really should be bringing in to sit around and spend time with us at this table. And beyond that, just helping them do it. So I think there's a lot of stuff in an ever, ever expanding list. Any questions you have of us? Well, I think the only question I was also thinking about is kind of what you would see as priorities at the moment. Um, if you see them similar, similarly to what I've already talked about, or if there's anything I've overlooked. And I think really the only other question I have at the moment is, is if you, who feels underserved at the moment that you should take a look at? I would love to talk to you. I mean, to help in any way I kind of, to kind of think about transportation. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And, uh, and, you know, I, I also uh, volunteer for Northampton Neighbors, so I have sort of a sense about what's going on with them. So just to have a, have a you know, I mean, to have like a net safety net for people in, in, in terms of getting doctor's appointments and maybe even to get them here for lunch, you know, mm -hmm. or getting lunches to them. And we really um, have been uh, struggling is not the right word, but we've lost our two one-on-one -on -one, uh, volunteers that helped. Our, our two volunteers that helped one-on-one -on -one with tech, and then we had another young woman who was helping through like a program. That program ended, um, so we kind of had three folks doing that. I mean, the two one-on-one -on -one volunteers have not come back because of COVID-related issues. They don't want to be that close still. I mean, understandable, right? But we haven't had the, the staff ability to uh, work on getting somebody back in here through a program or whatever to do one-on-one -on -one tech. So that's a focus. Once we get somebody else, you know, maybe once you, know, you get back here, I'll have more time to dedicate to doing that. Um, so that's a priority too, because we're constantly in need of, of you know, folks who need one-on-one -on -one to help too. Jane, I am. Um, I also think that it would be. Yeah, I'd, speak like, a bit. I'd like it, like very much, to um, give some thought to um, public relations. You know, to be able to to, to ways that we can um, make clear to the people in our campaign what it is that we do and do well because I'm not sure that um, we always get the credit. Um, you know, mm -hmm. there's all, the complaints always are like way more mm -hmm. loud than, than people who are than people who are giving us praise. And I do think there's a lot of people who have been benefited. I think I think now we've had was our last time we went together in May? We had conversations in that how do we sort of coming back after COVID, the timing of all of that, a new director, how do we pull all those things together mm -hmm. as an opportunity to have someone whose job is to do reporting um, to help us in, in some ways get out the message of clearing up a reminder. You know, here's some new stuff, here's a reminder. All of the updates, I think, is and then <laughs> yeah, of all the great stuff we're doing here, yeah, yeah. because so much, yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. People are benefiting from things yeah. that are happening here every day. You guys have been so busy. I mean, it's enough to get it done. You don't have time to really tell somebody about it. And I think it's, you know, I hear your point about transportation, and I also know how much is already going on. Yeah and that we don't want to lose sight of that. And that's the stuff that's not physical. That's not about people here. That's about meeting people's, you know, one-on-one-on-one -on -one -on -one needs for mm -hmm. shopping and medical appointments, et cetera. So I think being able to tell that story yes. is uh, 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 telling a lot of stories about yeah. how people are being helped. And all of the work, mm -hmm. that I think I don't even want to figure out how many people Michelle is yeah. Yeah. touching right. on a weekly basis. Right. Yeah or over the month and things right. that are, you know, aren't going to be public, but the fact yeah. that she's able to, the kinds of things she's able to help people with, which are 
Yeah. And all the services that are available. Yes, that exactly. That we we yeah. live in a fairly service rich area. Right. And we did get West Hatfield and Hatfield added into the transportation. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. that was a huge thing. Right. Yeah. There's a lot. Yeah. Yeah. So, so I think it's maybe, it sounds like you guys, I know you're taking the, the time to do the, whatever the training session is with other COAs <coughs> next week. It sounds like once Kim gets here, maybe a half day here and a half day for just to, for you guys to shut the door and do some plotting and planning. Mm. Nice. And assessing, I think, you know, I think that's an important thing to, to look, again, while it's slow, intentionally take the time to really, because you're not, you're not going to do the bits and pieces here and there. It's just, as I suspect, you'll end up with a very long list of things that you want to promote, things you want to add, things you want to do differently. Yeah, there's just so much great stuff going on here that, I don't know, you know, you don't, I don't know if you're not, or, you know, hear about or whatever, like, you know, just small snippets of things like, you know, Michael has a group that was, you know, here earlier meeting and talking, people that we didn't normally see, or people like, you know, Jean's organized the gallery artwork in the hallway, and we get constant feedback about people walking down the hallway, enjoying the art, talking about the art, like they never have an opportunity to see beautiful art like that, just things that are just a part of being in this building. Um, I don't know, I can't even express myself. But like, you know, like that are small little things that you don't even think about that are so positive. They're positive snippets and nobody, it, it's like, we hear them because we're here, but that's not what you hear out in, in the public. I mean, it's like, I mean, I would think you just, my, you hear these negative things, it's so just tiring. Just even looking at the Chronicle, I mean, the Chronicle is not exactly two pages long, but that mm -hmm. that's this huge summation of all of what's available. Right. Mm -hmm. And if we know how many households it goes to, and it's sort of how do you how do you build on that, mm -hmm. even that, because that's you know getting into people's homes and awareness. In the bistro now, we're finding them pulling the tables together Good. into long tables because they're like we're family. So we don't want to sit together. We're all people that have nobody to eat with at home. Mm -hmm. So this is our family. So now we're seeing that. So it's so you're kind of like a big long dining room yes. table. That's yeah, great. Yeah, they do. They put all the chairs awesome. and tables together. Yeah, that's a yeah. nice. yeah, perfect picture for the Yeah, that's really yeah. nice. Well, for the cassette. Just see. Just for the cassette. Just the heart. Just observe it. Anything else? I mean, you obviously more than welcome to stay, but we also don't want to keep you from being on vacation. So it's oh, what's going on. Did Carolyn have anything? I'm so sorry, Carolyn. I was just about to sign off, but it's just <laughs> um, welcome. I'm, I'm Carolyn. Uh, I'm new to the, the board in Northampton, uh, um, but would absolutely love to chat with you at some point when you're settled in. And I agree with everyone I think you were talking about that it's here through the mass is a little hard, but just uh, resources in the community. Um, I work with a lot of uh, older adults in their homes quite a bit, and I know that's one thing that they struggle with is being very isolated um, and wanting to get to the senior center. Um, and so it would be great to, if you guys are meeting regarding that, um, I'd love to join you for that. If I heard that, if I heard that correctly, it's <laughs> gonna hurt to hear a little bit. Great. Thank you. My apologies. I this, this, this the first time in a long time I've been part of a hybrid meeting, so it's challenged as well. I, I got ahead of that, Thanks for joining us. Yes. Bye bye, everybody. Yeah, take bye. care. Bye. So, is there anything, anything you guys want us to know? What's been happening? Anything outside? Um, just trying to hold down the fort as usual. <laughs> yeah, which is um, no small trick. We had CPR training yesterday. Yeah, we had CPR training. From the Department of Health grant, they were able to provide us some training. So. Yeah, that was great. Always good to get up to speed on that. So um, tell the rest of the group what what the, tra the training piece of Monday is all about. 
Yeah, so we're going to um, have some training on um, basically, you know, how to deal better with mental health situations that can arise for the staff uh, during the day. You know, just kind of get uh, a better handle for all of us on, you know, things like, you know, how to de-escalate situations. Um, because, you know, right now, Michelle is, you know, the trained social worker, um, and she and I are both sort of um, the senior staff people here, so if we have any kind of, um, you know, mental health situation, the other staff come to either Michelle or I. Um, I mean, I'm not a trained social worker, but, um, you know, so that's sort of what happens. Um, but I, we just all feel like it's important that we all have sort of better handle on um, on that general topic. So Michelle uh, reached out and we're all going to get some new training around that, which we just all feel like is really important as we um, are dealing more and more frequently here with folks um, who present with a variety of, um, you know, of a variety of scenarios for us. Um, so there are so other other senior centers that are joining you, right? Am I remembering correctly? I think there are yeah, a couple. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, I think there's somebody from Hadley that's coming over, maybe, I think that's what I and uh, maybe from, I uh, maybe maybe from Southampton, maybe. So yeah. So, so we're going to shut down today. completely. So the senior center is completely closed on Monday. It's going to be a full day, I think, for us. So I think it'll be really helpful. Uh, as we um, as we encounter things, you know, uh, I don't want to say daily, but definitely multiple times a week no, for all of us to have a better handle on our approach to things, and that way, you know, it isn't left up to just maybe one or two staff people to always be, um, you know, left to, to deal. So that'll be good. I think that'll be really good. Long, long, probably overdue for all of us. So that'll be good. And of course, I think it's, it's so important to be able to take time like that. It's, it's going to pay off. And, you know, I'm yeah. wondering if closing is challenging, but sure, um, it's, right. it's worth well worth it. Yeah, well, well worth it. Yeah, I know it's yeah. challenging. I'm sure people who are using the fitness center are probably not going to be happy about not being able to be in the fitness center. But uh, I think for one day, everyone will be yeah, happy. yeah, yeah, it can be challenging for us as a staff. So we really sure. need to have some training on that. So. Any new business, anything that um, you, anyone wants to see on the agenda for our, well, on, our, on for our August meeting, and do we want to have an August meeting, right? Throw that literally as a question to everybody. You, it's going to be scheduled for August 11th, so it's two weeks after you started. I don't know if you prefer to either way. I'm not going to be able to do that. You are Back. I was looking at Jean. So maybe why don't I just do an informal survey, include yeah. others, and just see if we're not going to have a majority of people um, give Kim a break so two weeks after she starts, she doesn't have to <laughs> come and be okay with us. So yeah. Um, yeah. And maybe just skip August and go to September. And then obviously we're always available if anyone needs us or wants us. I'd like to have. At the sort of top of our agenda, a real focus on recruiting members to the functional leader. So the conversation about where we are, what we think we need, and it would be good to start with so sort that of that can lead to the kind of action for more people. I think that one of the things that would almost certainly be true is that we expanded in a way that was really smart. There'd be more word of mouth, there'd be the kind of uh, understanding of what's going on here that we'd all like to see spread. So I'd like to see that real you know, focus. And I think, I think there's alluding to it earlier, I think if I would find it helpful before we, but that be, like for me that's part two, part one is a real honest discussion with Kim and, and you guys 
about what our role is, I mean, what it ought to be, and how to really have that thoughtful discussion, and then that would help us be better informed to sort of doing any outreach to try and get folks so we, so we have a clear understanding of what we're asking someone to get involved with. Yeah. Or the, the mayor's asking someone to get involved with. So if that's the case, maybe it, it does make more sense to give Kim a, a hot minute to yeah, get, get a, little, minutes, yeah. <laughs> a little more adjusted <laughs> and take August <laughs> to do that. So one, thank yeah. you, Nancy. Why don't we yeah. just make the decision? Yeah. We won't have an August meeting. Yeah. We'll have a September meeting. And if the time seems right, sense. I think that yeah. we can begin the discussion about yeah. our role. By that time, mm -hmm. we will have been here more than two hot minutes. Right. And <laughs> had some of the discussion with, with, with your staff, staff colleagues. Right. Yeah. 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 Um, might I just uh, backtrack to you, the whole business for just Please. a moment to let you know that we did order the furniture. So um, I think I casually mentioned that before, but with the help of the friends group. So that's on its so it's, it's less furniture than had originally been hoped. I remember but I think it's still, nice, but it's still yeah. a good amount. Yeah, a good amount. Yeah, so I think it'll be nice. So who knows when it will show up? I was going to say, I don't know. Let's hope for 2023, you know? <laughs> right. <laughs> Question mark when it will be here, but it has been ordered. <laughs> well, that's step one, right? You can't begin to ask the second yeah, question. Second. Done the first step, but that's good. Um, that's that, and that. we do, and you know, of course, the friends of the senior center is a whole other yes. thing that we, that we need to get acquainted with. Most of yeah. Is there a schedule we would put out at this point? I don't know. I, I would connect with Dennis. I don't know. Do they meet right Was they me before you all? Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. And you know, um, I mean, it just occurred to me that, so everything's kind of like sort of, you know, okay, uh, it's because there's no center person. But, um, but in the Chronicle, you know, there was a raffle for to raise money. And it does feel as if there ought to be a way that we can have communication. Like, that's the, that's the way I found out about the raffle was by reading about it in the Chronicle. And, you know, just when you meet with them, I don't think it's unreasonable for them to ask us to sell raffle tickets, you know, or at least promote the raffle. Um, that I, that's like legal and everything, right? I can't imagine why it wouldn't be. So, um, so I mean, just it also, you know, in terms of like, I, what you were saying about figuring out the role of, of we have our, what our role is, um, we don't get asked to do it before. So feel free to mention that when you're in Dennis' chat. I'm sure there's a way, as I think. And it may be, it would be helpful if you guys can figure out some way so that there is a regular communication. So mm -hmm. whether it's you knowing and Nancy, somebody, or Dennis wants to come to a meeting, probably if he's meeting right beforehand, but mm -hmm. all open. Mm -hmm. right. Whatever seems to make sense. Mm -hmm. Or we'll we'll say we'll come to a meeting when there's something mm -hmm. reasonably right. here. Yeah. Sure. I would add to that. A real desire I have to see Northampton neighbors more fully connected to them. I think it would be terrific if somebody from that group uh, was regularly here. We have folks like you and Ruben Devin and others who know well what Councilman Agent is about and what the senior center is about. And it's an extraordinary group of people. And to the extent that there's back and forth, I can't think we've got over a thousand members now. So the word getting out from here to them would be facilitated so much better if we sort of organize a, a, a closer, more regular relationship. Okay. I think this, that would help. there is a close relationship. Yeah. So Michelle is with them all the time. Certainly Laura and yeah. I say closer. I mean, some so there more, more visible. More and, visible. And, and it may be that, you know, when Kathy serves people or members, we, the Northampton Neighbors folks are very, very much engaged in the Age Friendly Project. So, I, so I, 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 let's take a stop of what is before we, and then be able to see I what know what it is. I'm answer. suggesting something more. And if you're listening to me, what I'm suggesting is something similar to what you said about uh, the friends. I find that relationship facilitated by the nature of the connection 
if we had something similar with Northampton neighbors, uh, I, I think it would be a, a real boom. Like maybe someone who's an official liaison, is that what you Yes, mean? exactly. Something to think about for September. Yeah, I think, I think that was when Linda was here and Kathy was sort of in an informal way to then serve that role. Mm -hmm. Other thoughts for agenda for next time? Do you have a long enough list now, Ken? I do. <laughs> <laughs> for at least the first two hours. So, welcome. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure to be here. It's an honor. We're honoring If we don't have any other business at 4.15, we entertain a motion to adjourn. Second. Third. <laughs> so we'll meet again in September. I don't have the date, but it's the third. Thank you. 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 Thank you.